Don't you love games? Oh. Hi, friend. Oh, get in here. I missed you. Oh, I turned my light off. Silly. Welcome to Miss Sunshine Story Time. I'm Miss Sunshine. And you know what? If you love books and music and a whole lot of love, then I think you're in the right place. And boy, am I happy you're here. Today, we have a very special book called The Good Egg. I, I feel pretty good today. How do you feel? Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing. Well, I'm super happy that you're here and we could read together. Before we begin, I wanted to let you know that tomorrow is the first annual Blueberry Festival. So if you have any questions about where, where to see me, well, let me just tell you, I'm doing a story hour both Saturday and Sunday. I will be doing a nine o'clock story hour and an 1130 story hour. I will be on the farm all day if you wanna come see me and maybe go um, adventure through the blueberries with me. I don't know, but if you wanna stop by and read a story and get a big, big hug for me, I would just love that. So I hope I see some of you there. And if I don't, don't worry. I'm going to do this again, I think, at some other place and some other time. So if I do another story time, I will invite you. But for now, let's move on to our book of the day, The Good Egg. And it's written by Jory John and Pete Oswald. Grab a stuffy or your favorite person, someone you love. And let's begin. The Good Egg. Oh, look at that page. Lots of yummy foods. Do you have a favorite food on this page? Mm. I like the waffle. The Good Egg by Jory John and Pete Oswald. Oh, I'm just noticing. I'm going to a blueberry festival tomorrow. This is blueberry jam. I don't even know that. Oh, hello. I was just rescuing this cat. Know why? Because I am a good egg. A very good egg. Oh. I know this song that goes, when I grow up, I want to be a fireman, putting out those fires anywhere I can, saving kittens out of trees on a sunny day. And look at saving kittens out of trees. You know, firefighters do. They do save kittens out of trees. It's true. I do all kinds of things like... I'll carry your groceries. I'll water your plants. I'll char change your tires. Yes. And I'll paint your house. And if you need any help whatsoever, I'm your egg. <laughs> oh, you did a lot of different colors for that house. You even, uh, even did a tree. Does the bread look happy? No, the bread does not look happy. I've always been a good egg. It's been this way from the start, even in my earliest days. Back at the store, it's called Farmer's Market. There were over a dozen of us living under one recycled roof. There was Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelley and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank. Hmm. 
Let's take a look at all these things happening. Goodness, goodness. The other 11 eggs weren't on their best behavior and they weren't exactly good. No, they ignored their bedtime. Yes. And they only ate sugary cereal. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they threw tantrums. Oh. Do you ever throw a tantrum? Hmm? Tell the truth. Yes, the truth is yes, I do too. <laughs> I throw tantrums sometimes. Adults throw tantrums too. It's not just a kid thing. They cried for no reason. And they broke the stuff on purpose. Well, I don't really, I wouldn't really want to break my TV or my computer because I don't really, I wouldn't be able to use it anymore. Meanwhile, I tried to take charge. I tried to fix their bad behavior. I tried to keep the peace because I was the good egg. The very good egg. Oh, this little face is so cute with his glasses. Man, look at this. Always chaos. Yeah, he's trying to clean up. He's mopping and everything. He's kind of drawing. They're drawing on the walls. It might be a little frustrating. Nobody seemed to care, though. Every night I was exhausted. My head felt scrambled. Oh, no one's really appreciating him. But he also is worrying a lot about them. And then, one fateful morning, I noticed some cracks in my shell. They were everywhere. Cracks in his shell. Oh. My doctor said it was from all the pressure I was putting on myself. The pressure of making sure that everyone was as good as me. Well, I was cracking up, literally. Yeah, something had to change. I had enough. Look, he has an x-ray. This is the anatomy of an egg. <laughs> this is yolk sometimes. If you're like dehydrated, you go, they said, you know, you get your IV with fluids and this is their fluids, it's yolk. That's silly. The doctor says, I think, you have a lot of pressure on yourself, worrying about all your friends. I told Meg and Peg and Greg and Clegg and Shell and Shelley and Sheldon and Shelby and Egbert and Frank and other Frank that I was leaving. I can't be the only bad egg in the carton, I said. Oh, I can't be the only good egg in a bad carton, I said. Blah, blah, blah. They replied. Mm, they don't seem to care very much that he's leaving. So he's like, all right. I left that night. Mm, going out on his own. One big egg in such a big, big world. I wandered from town to town. Hours, the hours became days, the days became weeks, and I lost track of time. Oh man, he even grew a beard. I was alone. So he, he made his friends on rocks because he misses them. <clears throat> Out there on the road under the stars, I really tried to focus on myself and what I needed. Oh. Let's see what happens when when our friend focuses on on just him. I took walks. <whistles> Did he? 
I read books. Oh, that's a nice one. This says the great, uh, great expectations. <laughs> I floated in the river. I wrote in my journal. I found simple moments to be quiet. I breathed in and I breathed out. I even started painting. Wow. Wait, look at, look at all the cracks here. Watch the cracks. less. Bubble baths? Yes. For once, I found some time for me. It see the clock? It says me time. Does your clock say me time? Oh, yeah, mine doesn't either. I gotta fix that. And guess what? Little by little, the cracks in my shell started to heal. My head no longer felt scrambled. Oh. Good job. Look at, look at the little bow tie. Ah, uh, looking spick and span again. I started to feel like myself again. Wow, look at his balance in rocks on his head. That is really concentrated. I like that tree. I love trees. So I've made a big decision. That's right. I'm returning to my old carton and my friends. Besides, I'm kind of lonely out here. He's like, okay, I'm ready to try again. I'm ready to go back. Give it another shot. This time I know what to do. I'll try not to worry so much. He's like, <laughs> yeah, that's great, right? And I'll be good to my fellow eggs while also being good to myself. Wow. He's taking a deep breath. Here we go. He's back. Everybody missed me. And I missed them too. <laughs> Hello, Meg. Howdy, Peg. Hi, Greg. Greetings, Craig. Oh, what's up, Shell? Hello, our Shelly. Hey, oh, Sheldon. <laughs> Hi, Shelby. Good day, Egbert. What's happening, Frank? How do you do, other Frank? Oh, thank you to sign welcome home. How cute is that? They all seem very excited. I'm not crying. <laughs> I don't cry over books all the time, okay? <laughs> is who I am, okay? <laughs> it's okay to cry. It's happy tears, okay? Sad tears are fine too. <laughs> sure, every once in a while, someone is still a little bit bad. But it's not like before. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You could just say, like, hey, I'm having a good day and I'm going to just cry. You know, oh, I'm so happy for you. <clears throat> Here's what I realized. The other eggs aren't perfect, but I don't have to be either. I'm skateboarding down the stairs. That's brave. It never ends well with me skateboarding down the stairs. So. And I'm okay with that. That is true. Like, there's no perfect person out there. You can't do everything right all the time. 
So it's okay. It's okay to make a little mistake, right? Yep, the old carton is back together and we're a solid dozen again. It's good to be home. Uh oh. Hey, 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 wait. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I think I would probably hang out with these guys. Maybe comfort this friend. Uh, give this friend a piece of paper to color on, maybe. Or just not worry about it. But man. What what a really excellent story today. Here's our last page. And this page kind of tells us a little bit about the authors, too. Sometimes they include that. Okay, well. <laughs> uh, every time I sit down to read to you, I'm like, I'm not going to cry this time. I'm not going to get in my feelings. And I do, because you know what? I'm kind of a crier, so that's okay. <laughs> anyway, that was the good egg, the end. And I'm so happy Hey, you stop by today to read a story with me and share some love and some giggles. I just, you make me so happy. And I hope that you've been doing really well and I'll see you soon. And hopefully maybe some of you I'll see at the blueberry farm tomorrow <laughs> and maybe in the future at another event. So for now, um, I'll say see you later or see you soon. And I'll be back with another story and I cannot wait. Love you. Bye, my friends. Big hugs. Bye.